Our eye gaze user, as you can see, is not quite in the right position. We have our eyes down the bottom of the track box, and we also don't have any uh, arrow in our indicator panel showing us that the person is in the right distance between the eye gaze eye tracker and where their head is. So we can adjust the device and also the position of the user. So let's show you how we would adjust the position of the device. So we'll come around to the back of the mount and we've got a lever here that we can adjust so that we can move the device up or down. So we're gonna come down a little bit. Try that, we can adjust further. And we've also got a lever here. We won't need to adjust this, but you can uh, adjust the device's um, positioning. You might need to angle things a bit. So just be aware that most mounts will have a few levers that you can adjust things, particularly for eye gaze, because you do need to have uh, ability to adjust the positions quite flexibly. So now we've got our two eyes a little bit further up in the track box, but I might uh, adjust a little bit further. Come down, so I'm towards the middle. And we also need to look, we've got the indicator at the bottom of the colored strip. So I'm gonna come closer in with the mount and you can see that that arrow is actually coming up towards the green section, which is what we would like. So now we're in the perfect position for starting to look at using the eye gaze um, activities on the device.